Hi everyone and welcome to this short video on how to transfer a .uk domain to Fasthosts. So to start we need to log into our control panel, so go to fasthosts.co.uk, click on login and go to the control panel login area and then just log in using your usual username and password. Once you're in your dashboard, click domains and click transfer domain. And here we can enter the domain name that we want to transfer. So I'm just going to try and transfer admin.co.uk. And you'll get the next screen will tell you that it's available to transfer. So read through the notes here. There's a few important notes and you have to choose whether you want to keep the domain name servers. So if you've currently got web hosting or email hosting or any other services with another provider and it's using their name servers, it's probably a good idea to keep this domain's current name servers. Uh, if you've got no services whatsoever, it's probably a good idea to use the fast-host name servers. But if you're not sure, give our support team a call and they'll advise you on what the best option is for you. So now we've chosen all those options, we'll click proceed with transfer. And the next option is to choose a domain contact. So once the transfer is complete, this is what the domain the domain contact is going to become. So make sure it's who you want to be in charge of that domain there. So at the moment it's set to my details there. So I'm going to click continue. If you want to change it, you can just click the change link there. Now the next screen is just the order confirmation screen and now it's free to transfer .uk domains but we have to create a transaction in the account to actually add the, th add the domain to your account and also you'll need to just read through and agree to the terms and conditions too. So once you've agreed to the terms and conditions click confirm and pay now. And hopefully that shouldn't take too long. Ah, there we go, pretty much instant. And now we can see that the domain is in my account and the domain name is pending registration. So at the moment, the transfer hasn't been completed. It's just ready to go in the fastest account. The next thing you need to do is go to your um, your current provider and ask them to change the IPS tag or you can probably do it yourself if you can log into your control panel with them as well. Now the IPS tag we use is live domains which is all capital letters and I'll show that on the screen in a second as well. So the a really useful tool now is that something called a who is lookup and a, one of the tools you can do is who.is. Who dot is that's the domain name. There are plenty of other who is tools, um, but this is just one I use fairly regularly. So if we use, I can't use the the admin dot code at UK, and I'll show you why. But we will use one of my domains and do a look up on this. The reason I couldn't show you the domain I was just using is because I don't actually own it, and it shows all the uh, the address um, and names, and don't really think they'd appreciate me showing that in a video. So here's the IPS tag of Fasthost use. It's that one there, live domains. So the reason this uh, who is lookup is really useful when you're transferring is you can see who's currently in charge of the domain. If the IPS tag is not live domains, it means that your current registrar hasn't changed the IPS tag yet and the transfer won't complete. But if it's changed over to live domains, it should automatically complete in the Fasthost control panel. So if it's if the tag's live domains and it's still saying domain name pending registration in your control panel, give our support team a call and they'll be able to reset that transfer and re-request it, which should sort it out. And that's all there is to it. So thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.